Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasi and welcome back to Belteras Factorio where we have instead missing power poles, uh, lots of rails and um, therefore lots of trains. Last time uh, we placed in a few solar modules, which means now we can when the sun is out, uh, almost uh, completely uh, fulfill our power needs uh, based on solar power. Um, you can see that here, the orange one, that's the uh, steam power. Um, here in the transition, we might need a bit of, uh, of accu. Uh, because I think there we had a we had a peak, so it's good that we have the echoes. Uh But we also worked on red circuits. Uh, they are down here in this corner below our um, oil production. Which does not put out too much because uh, we have not enough crude oil coming in. Uh, here we have that. Um, if we look at the delivery trains, um, should be loaded up on copper cable or. Uh, and uh, plastic now waiting for the green circuits. Um, so I would think that we should soon see the first red circuit production. Is it this train here? Hmm. Weird have only loaded green circuits. So maybe we should go to the beginning of, uh, of the loading process and then uh, start from there. Uh, over here, left and right coal is running out. Um, and already a while back we set up um, the pipeline for military science which is uh, over in uh, this corner and our base is getting a bit uh, large so walking from one end uh, to the other takes a while um, but taking the car is dangerous because there is not uh, uh, really any road planned in and we have not yet produced any military signs we are still waiting for the first train and I think this one is the first train where we are halfway full with uh, with walls no not even half full um maybe we should go to the first pickup station there uh, and then we would still need to pick up the red ammo and the red ammunition there we have a train waiting for steel I would assume and steel is also somewhere here around we have it down here and 
Actually, we should have enough steel for the train to, to get a, a move on. So, why does this not happen? This is the one for steel pick up. Ah. We have said that wrong because it should be greater than zero. And that's probably one of the issues that we have. And there are quite a few because this base with that many trains is a tiny bit complicated. But now that we basically have lined up the red circuits, we can start thinking about the blue science, the chemical science. We have sulfur, we have the red circuits, all we need is the engine units. For engine units, we need gears that we are already producing and we need pipes. Pipes should not be that difficult and then the engine units, that's a simple three input station. We have built a few of those. So, I am thinking, where shall we put it? Um, this square, I think we would touch the, the iron ore field. Um, so, Maybe, shall we go up here a bit or down here? I think the science production will go, go down here. Then we could basically have pipes and, uh, and the engines down here. Okay. Let's head down there, uh, or we can do that in this mode. Um, we need this one for the this one for the pipes, and then we need. Uh, let's let's put that first in place set up the trains and then maybe maybe we need more iron trains and we might need more iron ore trains we might need more uh, iron field stops to load those trains uh, or we may also need more iron smelting we will figure all that out hopefully in today's episode the pipe factory is here and as you can see we already got our first iron uh, plate delivery um, so we have some pipes in here so next up uh, is for sure then the factory for the um, for the engines. We will do that right next to here and we have this nice uh, blueprint that I just need to fill in and I just can't wait for the time where I have some uh, construction robots that 
basically would allow me to stand here in the middle and wait until all this is done. But uh, you don't have to watch me uh, do this uh, grindy work and uh, we will see how we proceed after the engines. With the engine plant now also in place, it's time to set up the train, which will probably go wrong as it has in the past. So we will go first to, uh, to the refueling station. Um, there we wait for five seconds. That's the easy part. Then we go for pipes. Um, pipes, pipe pick up one, pipe pick up two. Item count. We need 1000. Um, I think it's that way, and usually that way is the wrong way. So, in total, we want 2000 pipes, 1000 gear, and 1000 steel. Right. Then we shall proceed to. Waiting steel, uh, waiting pick, steel plate pick up on condition uh, steel greater than zero. And then we can actually go to steel plate loading one, steel plate loading two where we have once again item count, item count, steel, uh, we have this, then here on the first one it's 500, on the second one it's 1000. And then we shall go to gear loading one and gear loading two. Gear loading one and gear loading two. And maybe we have to rework that a bit. We have one station set for red signs and everything else goes through the through the normal one um, we probably will look into that at some point uh, then here once again gears 1000 and then we go to Um, engine delivery one, engine delivery two. Engine delivery one. And there we have an item count condition on the pipes. Uh, if that's less or equal to 1000, so half the amount. Uh, and then engine delivery two, empty cargo or inactivity of 60 seconds. Right. Then let's send that train off and we 
should then see go it going into pipe pickup and uh, if um, it sticks to uh, the pickup one uh, we have set it up the right way we will see a green bar like there uh, as the pipes are loaded otherwise it's the the wrong way around I can never figure out which way this this has to go so if uh, someone of you has a clever idea how I could remember that that there is a train in the way why is there a train in the way that one wants to go up that one wants to go up okay yes for once we did it the right way around great so now next step chemical science three ingredients once again so we can just uh, uh, take this setup and um, plop it down here because this is our science column right so once again let's take out this one and paste it in here and i will just do the same thing over again place in all the pieces and then we can set up the final train for the delivery here and after that we still have to uh, set up trains for picking up the military signs and then as well the uh, uh, blue signs but we can do that at the end at least the production for the blue signs is now also in However, I think it will be a while before we see any blue signs coming out of here. I do have a few trains in here, so let's actually set one up so we can supply this factory with uh, goodies. So what we need here is fuel stop, fuel stop, fuel stop, time passed, five seconds as always. Then we want to sulfur pick up one, sulfur pick up two, um, item count item count and we count the sulfur and then on the sulfur we need to load 500 in total so the first one will be 250 and the second one will be 500 great then next stop mm, let's go to the red circuits um, item count item count red circuits we need the most so we need 1500 so three times the amount of uh, sulfur so that's uh, 750 on the first 
and uh, the 1500 on the second and then we are left with the engines they are here and we have item count on both of them as well for engines of course and we need in total a thousand engines to match up the ratio so that's 500 on the first stop then the thousand on the second one then we go to blue science delivery one and blue science delivery two you note here we have blue science delivery that's for the lab but maybe we could come up with a, with a better name there so here we want to have it the other way and we do the condition on the red circuits which we will unload half and then here we have empty cargo or inactivity for 60 seconds and that's it now all the fueling stations are full uh, actually looking over there we have a bit of situation um, maybe you go to here and that should free up the situation here around so the trains can actually flow through yeah then let's bring up this train the other fueling station up there looks like there we also have an issue um, go back to your waiting area there you are also blocked Do you want to go and then go direct to the copper field? Um, yeah, those are the signals that are a bit problematic. But I think we solved that issue. And here we go for the fueling. And we should see it go to the sulfur pickup. I would assume we have enough sulfur sitting around to load the train.
and of course we did it the wrong way so go back here which means we have to change all of these and then this one of course wants to be the other way around as well right is that correct locked by control arm oh, yeah I see why because we do have red wires going from the containers to the station to the inserters that cannot work because the containers are full and uh, on the station we read the content of the train and that is empty so while the train is sitting there the inserters uh, think they don't they aren't allowed to uh, pipe to uh, insert anything so what we need to do here here we have the, the same problem. We need to unhook these red wires and replace it with green wires. That way it works. Now let's remove the red ones first. Now the inserters are inserting and maybe we should have that set on all of those and that really fills up the 250 uh, that we need here and the rest and then Probably it will still be quite a while until we have enough red circuits uh, for the train to proceed there. But that's definitely all for today and we will have to see uh, what we will tackle next. Why is it directly moving to the second station that's not good we will have to figure that out some other time not today because this episode is already quite long nevertheless i hope you enjoyed it and also tune in next time for more uh rail heavy factorio. Until then, goodbye.